Visit HUDKing.com for other HUDKing real virtual tours. And while you're there, click on the bird to follow us on Twitter, click on the F to follow us on Facebook, or use your Gmail account to log into YouTube and subscribe to our HUDKing video page. We are here at 12014 Lamar Bridge. That's 12014 Lamar Bridge. This big, beautiful home is located in the hills at River Mist. And this is one of the nicest HUD homes on the list this week. You have an exterior of brick and hardy plank siding. It does have some trees up front, a little bit of landscaping. This big home is almost 3,300 square feet. It was built in 2008. It sits on about a 6,800 square foot lot and it's nice out here. Let's take a look at the back. So a view right out of the back door, you have a covered patio here. Not a huge patio, but you know, not too bad. There are no trees in the backyard, so you get to landscape it however you want. Show you a rear view of the home. The back and a few portions of the upper section are hardy plank. Something fantastic about this home is you have zoned heating and cooling, which helps with the efficiency of your utility bills. And then behind you is Kyle Seal Parkway. So right now there are no neighbors behind you and there probably won't be because of that road. Exterior wise, this home is in fantastic condition. It really doesn't need anything. Maybe a coat of paint if you don't like the color. And let's look at the inside. As we walk into the home, a majority of the downstairs area has been tiled with a really nice kind of a dark slate color tile. And then in the office here, you actually have wood. So it's just a beautiful home. This home has some equity in it. Similar homes in the neighborhood are about twenty dollars to $40,000 more than this house. So this is a perfect example of what a HUD home is and how you can save a bunch of money. So when you come in from the front door to the left, you have an office. Good sized room. It has really, really, really pretty molding, 10 foot ceilings in here. You get two French doors to cut, close off the office, which is nice. And then to the right, you have a formal dining room. Beautiful recessed ceiling. Not a bad little chandelier. And then you have access to your kitchen either through that door or up here. So we're gonna go straight ahead. You have these recessed areas for your artwork, which I think is beautiful. To the right here, you have your kitchen. Big kitchen, lots of cabinet space, lots of countertop space. Dishwasher, you have a, an electric range, you have an island, you have a double oven. Over here, you have like a little work area, which is neat, and your pantry. So your pantry is gonna be right here. Good sized pantry, I mean, basically a walk-in pantry. And then through that access where you have, uh, you know, accessibility to your, to your formal dining, which is nice. So here in the kitchen, what's neat is that it's big, it's open. We come over, we have your dining area here. You have access to the backyard. And let me show you this beautiful wood blinds that stay with the home. It's nice. And then you have your big open living area with a fireplace. It is going to need a change of carpet. <coughs> it is going to need a change of carpet. The carpet is dirty. You, I don't know if you could steam clean that, but you probably could change it. A little nook here. You have staircase leading upstairs. And then a big perk is the master bedroom is downstairs, and that is phenomenal. It's great. I always recommend if you get a two story home, try to get the master down if you've got the square footage. And this one certainly does. It's over 3,200, it's almost 3,300 square feet. Big master bedroom, beautiful recessed ceilings, light, uh, nice bright windows, and then you have the master bath. Master bath has dual vanities, nice cabinetry. You have a separate garden tub and shower, frosted window to give you ambient light in the room. You have your commode, and then at the back of the master bath, you have a big walk-in closet. Now it's kind of dark in there, so I'm not gonna walk in there, but it's a good sized closet. Ceramic tile in the bathroom, which is a plus. I don't like carpet in the bathrooms because it tends to get wet and cause moisture or mildew. Come around the master. We go down the hallway. You have a half bath here for your guests so they don't have to go upstairs to use your facilities. It's just a single commode and sink. And then at the end of the hallway, you have access to your garage and your utility room. Here we have the indoor utility room. Washer and dryer connections are in here so you don't have to go out there to do your laundry. And then through this door, there's a garage now. It's kind of dark in there also, guys. I'm not gonna go in there, but it's a, it's a single bay door, two car garage. It's been finished out, pretty standard. Other three bedrooms will be upstairs, as well as a huge game room, so let's take a look at that. As we get upstairs, I just love the wrought iron balusters looking over. Just a pretty view, open up those shades, get a lot of light in here. 
pan around upstairs and you have a big upstairs living room. Two windows give you a beautiful view out to Kyle Steel Parkway. And as you can see, there are no neighbors behind you. Now one thing you may be able to see is there's a tiny bit of wood rot there on the top of the chimney. Not a big deal. You can have somebody fix that very inexpensively. Nice recessed ceiling here in the upstairs game room. Beautiful architecture. Archways. It's just a really nice home. Like I said, one of the nicest on the list this week. You have a linen closet here. You have bedroom number two. Good sized bedroom. Probably about a 16 by 16. Really doesn't need anything. I mean, if I had to point out something, there's a tiny bit of wall damage here, but it's very minimal. Come around the corner. We have bathroom number two. This is the bathroom for your guests. It is a single vanity and a shower and tub combo, which has been completely tiled. Beautiful. At the front of the home, we have bedroom number three. Biggest of the other three bedrooms other than the master. Probably about a 20 by 17. And then bedroom number four at the front of the home, probably a kid's room. I like the little nook here. It gives it a really pretty architecture and you have Two windows giving you a lot of ambient light. A little bit of wall damage there. They probably had the bed there, but if you paint it, it's going to be fine. So that's about it, guys. Big, beautiful home built in 2008. About 20 to 40,000 underneath similar homes for sale in this area right now. So let me give you a formal summary. There it is, guys. 12014 Lamar Bridge. 12014 Lamar Bridge. Huge, beautiful house built in 2008. Almost 3,300 square feet. List price of this home right now. $227,000. There are similar homes to this in the neighborhood right now that are selling for twenty dollars to $40,000 more than this. In fact, this home is appraised by the county over $241,000. So right there, there's some instant savings for a home that needs very little work. So guys, if you're interested in this home and you don't have a realtor, I would love to earn your business. You can reach me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan. I am the HUD King and I want to help you find your castle.